Ready for the new era of Big Brother? This time the super surveillance may be for your own good. Temperature sensing cameras have skyrocketed in global interest as states around Australia continue to ease restrictions and businesses slowly reopen. So you can see I stand here, it's looking at my face here. It then takes your temperature and this would tell you if your temperature is, is too high. So my one's 36.68. Canberra Airport has become the first major terminal in Australia to install thermal imaging cameras for all passengers travelling through security check-ins. Thermal imaging cameras use infrared sensors that can highlight those who might have a fever. But this sought-after technology comes with some criticism. The best location in the face to detect the core body temperature is the inner tear duct. However, one problem that occurs is when somebody wears glasses, because the thermal camera cannot see through glass. Surveillance trade publication IPVM has accused some thermal camera manufacturers of faking their sensor accuracy. This medical grade infrared thermometer said I was about 98.9. So now let's see what is the industrial grade thermometer say the way that they've been doing a lot of these measurements in Asia. 94.6. Wow, not even close. This has been consistently off by four or five degrees. Plus, fever detection is useless against coronavirus carriers with no symptoms. Nevertheless, companies around the globe are ramping up coronavirus biosecurity as society seeks a new normal. Amazon in the US has started to use thermal cameras as a faster method of scanning its workers for fevers. More than 70 of its warehouse and delivery facilities across America have installed the technology. Other companies are harnessing tech not for testing temps, but for staying safe. Cameo, Nice and a Motorola subsidiary are developing security camera software that can detect those not wearing masks or standing too close and ignoring social distancing measures. While this type of data might prove useful for governments and businesses in enforcing health advice around coronavirus, those filmed with rightful privacy concerns might be harder to persuade. Be more worried about how this technology might have what we sometimes call function creep in that it is used and designed for one purpose, but then it gets repurposed for other things.